Designs. Welcome to our first uh, bonus video for this week. Um, I hope y'all are doing well today. Today is an exciting day because as you probably know, it is the um, first day that we are opening up for new members in SVG Clubhouse. Um, so this week, each day, starting today, I'm going live making the bonus files with you guys. So hello, Paulette, how are you? So if you're just joining me, come and say hello and tell me where you're watching from. And if you have a StreamYard notification pop up um, asking you to uh, give StreamYard permissions, then please go ahead and do that so I can see your name when you comment. Um, if you did not get a text notification that I was going live today, you can text me at the number scrolling on the bottom of your screen and I will notify you every time I go live from now on. Um, okay, so let me explain to you guys what SVG Clubhouse is. While I'm doing that, I am finishing up a little prep work here. Um, I've got some of the black uh, Gorilla Tape here, and I am pulling the masking off of some of these little pieces. So I don't know if y'all have ever done this before, but this black Gorilla Tape is so awesome at getting this masking off. So I thought I would like to a little bit of that on camera so that y'all could see if you've never done it before. I've got a few of these pieces left. See how that pulled that, um, oh, the screen, oh no, I was gonna say it's frozen. It pulled the masking off of those pieces. Um, and then there's, you can see, I can see, y'all probably can't see, there's a little, little bit left, so I'm just gonna take it and just kind of pull those uh, last few bits off of there. So if you cut um, any masked wood, or MDF. Um, this tape, hey Holly, how are you? This tape is really awesome for pulling the masking off. Um, it is the Black Gorilla, I don't even know what kind of tape it is because it doesn't really have a, it just on the inside says it's the Black Gorilla tape. So I don't know if it's like considered their duct tape, but it's by, by Gorilla and it's just the black big roll of tape. I think I got it at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, um, so I'm going to pull one more piece off of here because I have a couple more of these little acorns and leaves that I need to get the masking off of. And then we'll talk about um, the club and we'll get started on our tiered tray set. All right. So if y'all joined me last week, you know what I'm doing right now. These little acorns and leaves are a little add-on that I um, said I was going to do. So I'll talk about that too in just a minute, but I wanted to just not get too off topic and confuse you guys so hold on see how i'm lining these up and they have the masking on them still all right so i'm gonna lay this tape down on here and i'm just gonna press nice and hard and, and firmly hello holly hello sandra how are y'all doing today i'm so glad y'all could join me and you guys are catching me live it's a pretty day outside. It's kind of a weird lighting in here today. So I tried to get it as bright as I could, but um, if I turned my overhead light on in my craft room, then it made it weird and almost like darker with the shadow. So I've got my ring light, but it's just, I've got the ring light turned all the way up, but it feels like it's like dark in here or something. This is as good as I could get it to look. All right, so I pushed firmly on there and that one was a little bit on the edge. So I'll have to get the rest of that off, but you can just peel this. See that came, that came right off of that little leaf. This is the, um, what is that board called that comes with Glowforge? It comes in your um, starter kit, draft board. This is the medium draft board that comes with it. So now the rest of the pieces that I've cut here are, are eighth inch birch. Um, 
but I needed to cut these little leaves and acorns out yesterday and my laser was being used for other things my big laser my thunder and I thought I'm gonna cut these out with the glowforge and I love I I don't even know if I'm gonna paint these little uh, pieces because I, I like the way they look see the difference in color so this is a pumpkin that was cut out of the eighth inch birch and then this is a leaf that was cut out of that draft board and I just think that the draft board, it has this like really neat kind of card, not cardstock, um, you know, the craft paper, like craft with a K. That's what I think of when I look at this. And I just think it already looks kind of finished by itself. Like I like the look of it. So I don't know. We'll see. I might paint a couple of those, but I'm going to get those over here and then um, we'll get started here in just a minute. Okay. So let me um, explain to y'all about SVG Clubhouse. If you don't already know, I feel like I've um, talked about it all last week, so I might be... Um, being a little bit repetitive to some of y'all, and I apologize if that's the case, but I just want to make sure no one is totally lost. Um, so I have a private membership group that is called SVG Clubhouse, and it only opens, um, I say three or four times a year. This is the first year we've opened. We opened back in March. We, uh, we closed the doors, and then we opened again in June, and then we closed again, and now we're opening in September. Now, that being said, I don't know that there's going to be another opening at Christmas time because Christmas time is so hectic. Um, that I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. Um, so this might be the last time that we open until 2022. I'm just not 100% sure. I can't give y'all an answer to that. So if you do want to get in, I would get in this week because we're going to close the doors again this Sunday. Um, it's only $15 a month. It's a great deal because you get, so um, if you guys are familiar with my files, you know, I sell my files in my Etsy shop, um, but I also um, have this membership group. And the perk of the membership group is that you get 50% off of all my files all the time. Um, and in addition to that, you get four completely exclusive files every single month that I don't sell in my Etsy shop. Like they'll never be for sale in there um, ever. They are only for group members. Um, each month, the four files that you get are always a brand new um, tiered tray set, which is, um, well, this is a tiered tray set, but this is actually a bonus file. Um, we painted all of all of the monthly files last week for the group. So, so for the month of September, they got four files, and I painted all those live for y'all last week um, to show you what they look like. So if you missed them, go back to my videos and check those out. But um, so, like I said, the four files, uh, you get a tiered tray, you get a door hanger, uh, door hanger or wall hanger. Most of the time it's a door hanger, but sometimes it's something you may want to hang inside and instead of outside, it's kind of a personal choice. Um, the third thing is a shaker file. If you don't know what a shaker file is, they are the, um, the little sets that I make that have the sequins that, and not just sequins, but like little filler items that you shake them and they like move around in there and they're just, you know, really, I love them. I think they're just so much fun. So you get a shaker file. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can also look back at my other videos and you'll see I've done several videos on them. Um, and then you get one more file that is something totally different. So it could be um, a shelf sitter. It could be a banner. It could be a, um, a keychain, just um, all different things, some tag sets, just different things that we come up with that don't fall in that other category. Um, oh, thank you, Paulette. Hey, Sandra, how are you? Okay, so, um, so since we opened the doors today, uh, for new members. Today is the first day that we are open. Um, I am offering bonus files all this week. So in addition to the four files that you already get for September, you get four bonus files if you join today. Um, now we are open all week, but the bonus files go away. You lose one each day that you wait. So if you sign up today, you get them all. Um, if you wait till tomorrow, then this one is the one that goes away. Okay. So if you want this one, you got to sign up today to get it. Now, um, if you're already in the club, um, you get all the bonus files. Every time that we offer bonus files, if you're in the club, you get um, all those files. Terry, um, sweetie, I mentioned, I commented on your post. Um, you did get the, you should have gotten the email this morning um, with your bonus files in it. So if you did not get that email, then please uh, just private message me or email me and let me know and I'll check your email address. But you should have, it, they all went out first thing this morning to members. Okay, so members get all the bonus files every time. Um, so we're going to do a bonus file starting today. We have one Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and then we don't have any more bonus files after that. But we will still be open Saturday and Sunday. 
um, and you still get the September files. You just don't get all these fun extra things this week that we're doing. So, okay. Um, the link to sign up is in this video description and um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell y'all about it. When you sign up, you get uh, everything automatically sent to you. You get all the files today. Everything is there for you. Um, you get an email sent to you that has like the links to everything, has the coupon code in it for the 50% off. Everything is automatically sent to you. Um, when you join, there's a private Facebook group that you get access to when you join. Um, as people come in today, um, it may take a little while to get y'all all approved, but um, we're going to get y'all in like by tonight. The people that join today will let y'all into the Facebook group. We just have to approve everybody's payments. So if you haven't been let in yet, that's why. Um, but you will get in today. And then um, the other thing is you get a uh, virtual paint party every month. So I go live in the group every month and I paint um, something, uh, one of the four projects live. Um, let me hold on. Let me tell my daughter that the groceries are on the front porch. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm sorry. I thought this was going to happen later. As usual, it did not. Hey, Katie, can you come and grab my think they're on the porch? I saw somebody out there. Thanks, sweetie. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. I order for Instacart and I always try to time it when I'm not live. And for some reason, they either comes early or it comes late and it's coming early. So not complaining. Um, okay, so you get the virtual paint party. And then the last thing that you get, uh, I'm trying to think, is, a, hey, Debbie, how are you? Um, oh, y'all. Hi, I'm losing my mind today with all this stuff. Okay, so you get the four files, you get the 50% off the virtual paint party. Oh, and then you get um, access to the old files. So if you look back in the group and you see that you missed a month that looked really fun and you like those files and you want to purchase them, if you're a member, then you can go back and purchase previous month's files. Um, I have a membership portal that when you're in the club, you get access to, to everything is in the membership portal. So you can always go there and log in and all your files are there. And that's where you'll see if you want to purchase the previous files, they're all in there as well. So that is what you get for being a group member. So I hope y'all join today if you are going to, so you get all of the fun bonuses. All right, so we are going to paint this fun set today. I love this set. I think it is so fun for fall. And I've got some different colors picked out today. Um, I actually grabbed some of my Waverly paints. So I uh, have these Waverly chalk paints and I'm, I guess they still have these shades because I've had these paints for a while. I did not buy these this year. So I don't know if Waverly changes their colors, but um, I grabbed Lagoon and let me show you the other blue. These are the two blues, Lagoon and Peacock. And then the two oranges that I grabbed are pumpkin and rhubarb, which looks kind of like a, a salmon, like a dark orange color. So I grabbed those. If I don't like those, I have some deco art colors that I'm going to choose from as well. So we will see. Now, last week, um, I showed you guys the Target gumball machines. So this is one of the gumball machines. Um, this, is, this is the white one that I have. I tied a little bow on it last week. This is, I have two black ones. This is a black one that I was able to find last week. Um, they are a little bit hard to come by. The black ones uh, should be in your target now, but some, some of the aren't getting it. And some of the, you know, some people go in and buy them all up and there's none available. Um, but hopefully you can snag one of these if you want one for your tiered tray, because I am, um, the tier tray for September and this this tier tray, I have included a bunch of these little cutouts that are going to go in and they don't have to go in this gumball machine. They can go in any kind of clear, you know, vase or cup or like a mason jar or something cute like that. So um, you don't have to have one of the gumball machines to put them in, but they just look so cute in there. So these are what's going in in this one today. And um I told y'all that if you can't find one, there are some DIY tutorials out there to show you how to make your own similar little gumball machine. And I'm going to go live next week in the clubhouse and do a tutorial um, showing you guys how to make one out of um, supplies from the dollar store. So if you're in the club, um, I'll uh, post in there what day I'm going to be going live and I'll show you guys how to make your own little gumball machine. So that should be really fun as well. Um, this one, I thought the white would go best with this um, 
this set, but I might, after I get it all painted, I might actually paint this gumball machine. Because if you look on Instagram, um, there's a whole bunch of eye candy out there. People are painting these little things like all different colors because they only come in like white, black, and red, as far as I know. I don't think anybody's found another color out there. But I think I might paint this with some chalk paint and distress it a little bit to kind of coordinate with this set. So we'll see. Um, I kind of have to see how it goes and what looks good once I have it all painted. There's one more thing that I did pick up to go with this tiered tray set that I was real excited about. And that is this Ray Dunn mug that says sweater weather. Isn't that cute? I was going, I went to Marshall's looking for a um, Halloween, a black Ray Dunn Halloween mug. And I couldn't find one, but I'm still in the search. I'm going to try Home Goods because they usually have them. And um, anyway, I found this one. And then, where'd I put them? My straws. So I thought I would put some straws in this little mug. That's, sorry, the glare. I'm trying to put it where y'all can see it. Um, so I have all these straws. I ordered, y'all gonna think I'm weird, pop crazy. I ordered all these straws like way back when I started doing tiered trays. Um, some of them are from Amazon. Some of them are from the party store. Uh, I think I got, I think this pack, is that a Target tag? I think that's a Target tag. Anyway, I think these came from Target a while back. But anyway, I pulled these out because I have black, I have uh, teal, and I have, I don't know if this is pink or coral. I'm not really sure. I think it's kind of pink, but I also think that it could go with like a corally, like this lighter one could go with like a corally color. So I don't know. We'll see. So I'm probably going to put some of those straws in this little mug because I thought that would be cute. Um, so yeah, so we're going to put all that together. So let's get started painting and I'm going to start with my door because that was the one thing that I actually was not completely at odds over what color I wanted to paint it. I definitely wanted to do a blue door. Oh, thank you, Terry. I'm excited about it. I was really excited at how it came together. This one's actually brand new. I haven't opened this little. I buy y'all. Do y'all buy paint and then just like set it aside and never get around to opening it? I'm terrible about that sometimes. All right. Let's find a medium brush. Oh, I also have one more thing to show y'all. So I thought for the tag, this little fall vibes, the letters are all crooked because, you know, they're not glued on, obviously. But anyway, fall vibes tag. Um, I have some beads. So I have some wood beads. These are just the wood. Hard to, I'm sorry about this glare. It's getting on my nerves. I don't know. You can see it better on the overhead camera. But you know, those wood beads. Get them on Amazon. You can get them a lot of places. I've got these on Amazon as well. These are Buffalo Check beads. So I thought they would be really cute. And we might put a few beads. Lord knows if I do all this, I'm going to be live for like two hours. So I don't know. We'll see how much we get done. This could take a while. All right. This clearly did not shake up very well. So let me shake this up. A little bit better. Oh, and then, y'all, sorry, I keep finding things that I've done. This tiered tray got me all like, you know, the creative vibes flowing, the creative juices flowing. So I also thought I might Mod Podge. Again, I mean, how long is this video going to take if I do all these things? But I just, you know, I just wanted to do all this stuff. So I wanted to uh, my potch some paper onto um, this, possibly this piece, the, the sweater weather little, and again, you know, they're all crooked because they're not glued on, that little shape and the tag shape. And so I printed some orange gingham and some aqua gingham. This actually... I cut it on the edge of the paper because I like this white border. Um, it's a little blurry looking because it's just a printed. It's not like I went to Hobby Lobby and bought this because it was sort of a last minute idea. Um, but I do that sometimes. I'm like, okay, what do I have that I can use? And I don't have to go buy something else. And so I've gotten to where I print um, things off on my printer. I could have printed this on cardstock. This is just printer paper either one, but I thought this would be super cute. And I kind of like that it's a little bit blurry because that's the look that I'm going for. And I wanted these to be not too dark. So I might use those as well. We will see. All right. I really love 
this blue, what was this? This is called Lagoon color for the door. And you can see the score lines through the paint to know where to put your trim pieces. So I'm just doing a light coat so I can see where to put those other pieces. Some of these pieces, it was real obvious to me what colors to go with. And some of the other pieces, I'm like still kind of at odds over um, what colors. I know what colors I'm using. I just don't know what combination for each piece, like where I'm putting those colors on each piece. I have a hard time picturing it in my head sometimes. And, you know, it's just paint. I always say that if you don't like it, you can change it. It's a little difficult to have that you know, happen on a live video, um, but sometimes it happens. All right, so got that color, and then I'm going to do, let's see, these I wanted to do in like a little bit darker of a shade, and that's why I brought the peacock in. Let me shake this peacock color up. It is a little bit darker, and then I'm going to do a little um, distressing on this one is not open either. I bought this paint and then I ended up doing a lot more with deco art. And then I kind of forgot that I had this chalk paint and I got it out the other day and I was like, I love these colors. All right. That is way too much paint for that. I don't want to use all that paint. I just dumped right out. Hold on. Y'all know we don't waste paint, right? I just need a little bit. I just need just a tiny bit for that and I'm getting it all over the side of my paint jar now okay um before I do that though I want to just I want to distress this a little bit so actually what we're going to do is we're going to hold off on painting the trim pieces and do the pumpkins first because I want that door dry because I want to do the um the white paint distressing before I put the trim pieces on. I think that's going to look better. So let's do these pumpkins. And we'll use Waverly Pumpkin for that. This one I have used. I just put the little thing back on. I think I'm just going to dip these straight out of the jar. All right, so the pumpkins have score lines on them. And I want to be able to see those. So I'm just doing a light coat. there sorry y'all can hear my AC running so loud out there it was nice and cool this morning but it's starting to warm up a little bit I love this time of year because I love to sit on this green porch in the morning with my coffee and enjoy the cool weather okay so then We'll grab a little bit of brown. Move my water close to where I can get to it. Hey, Amy, how are you? Another Amy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of um, Deco Art Milk Chocolate on the stem. Just need a little tiny bit. Actually, I need a small 
a tiny brush. Let me find a tiny brush. Is that one? That's a really tiny brush. I don't know if I need one that small. Here we go. Just painting the stem brown. There we go. And then the door is going to be my Posca pens. This is a little doorknob. They're very hard to see, but they're two circles. One lays on top of the other, two little tiny circles in the file. And I am going to hit those with my silver metallic Posca pen. Black would also probably look good. I love the Posca metallics. They are one coat coverage and they go on really nice and smooth and you can definitely tell that they're metallic. Um, oh, you're so sweet. I don't know how talented I am, girl. I just, you know, I look for inspiration on Pinterest just like everybody else, but I appreciate that. That's very sweet. Um, okay, I think our door is dry enough. We can probably go ahead and do our distressing. So I'm going to take some white chalk paint. And over here, I'm just putting my paint on a paper plate. And grab a dry paper towel. And I'm going to get a little bit of white paint on my brush, and then I'm just going to kind of do this. I just want a little bit of paint on here. I'm actually going to dab most of it off. And this is a chip brush. I use these for distressing. You can get a pack of them at Hobby Lobby or Amazon, or sometimes the Dollar Tree has them. And I just am just doing a light touch on this door. Just kind of going around the edge, making sure I hit that edge because I like the way that that, that looks when it, when the white kind of hits that laser edge, it gives it a finished look. Makes this door look a little aged, like it's on an, an old, I think of like an old Charleston house. I love those old houses in Charleston. Okay, and we'll do our pumpkins too. Our pumpkins would look good distressed as well, I think. Give them a little something something here. I'll probably distress most of these pieces. Just a very quick little light touch. Just like so. Quick, quick, quick. Alrighty. And now we're going to do our edge pieces. So I'm going to go back here to this. Um, what color did I say that was? I think the darker one is the peacock, right? Did I say peacock? I've lost the top. Yeah, the darker one is the peacock. Probably can't notice that much difference. but it just gives it a little dimension. I'm not trying to paint the inside. I just accidentally got some, some paint on the inside. So I'm just trying to get it globs of paint off. You could probably also do your trim in like maybe white if you wanted to, to make this door really pop. But I kind of wanted like a tone on tone look. Oh, 
All righty. And then let those dry for just a minute. And while those are drying, I'm going to grab my wreath here for my front door. And I've got some light or Hauser light green by Deco Art that I'm going to use for my wreath. And again, I'm going to do a light coat because the wreath has a design on it that I want to be able to see. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that my overhead camera does not shut off like it's been doing. I thought I had the problem solved, but then the last time I was live, it did it again. And I really don't know why it's doing it. I thought it was my iPhone that was causing the issue. But not my iPhone, my um, Apple Watch. I thought my Apple Watch was causing the problem on my iPhone. But pretty sure I had that disconnected last time and it still cut off the overhead. I can always get it back on, but it's just strange. It's very strange when it does that. Okay. And I'm not going to distress the wreath. I don't think that really needs it. Okay, so let's get these pieces on here. I'm going to grab my stick fast glue. Y'all know I love my stick fast. Um, the other uh, thing that I forgot to tell you that you get as a group member, which a lot of people really enjoy, um, I think, are marketing photos and a supply list. So you get every month when you get the files, you get marketing photos that you can use both blank and finished. Um, so you don't have to completely create these. Here, I have to look at it from front so I can make sure it's straight. So you don't have to completely make all the projects before you advertise uh, to your customers if they want to buy like the blank sets or what have you. So you get to use the marketing photos every month. Um, and then I also give you a supply list for the four files each month. It tells you all the paint colors and the links to everything. Make sure that's straight as well. Yep. Okay. All right. Now let's do our doorknob. What side do we want to put our doorknob on? I think, I think probably this side. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess all doorknobs are different depending on which way your door opens. I think what would also be super cute on here if y'all wanted to cut out your, um, let me see where this is going to go here. If you wanted to cut out your, house numbers and put house numbers on it that would be really cute right i'm just trying to figure out where to put glue here all right and then our little pumpkins now our pumpkins are going to hang off the edge slightly i got a little blue paint on that pumpkin let me see if i get that off i might have to fix that hold on I just need like to dab a little, I feel like if I dab a little orange paint on there, I can maybe take care of that without too much fuss. And then let me distress it one more time. Fix it. There we go. You'll never know it was there. Y'all probably couldn't even see it, but I could see it. All right. So these are going to hang off slightly and that's fine. We're just going to put glue where they're going to touch the door. So I'm going to just hold that on there. That's the beauty of stick fast because stick fast dries so quickly that you can just hold these for a few seconds and they are attached. So 
So let me know if anybody has any questions about the clubhouse or any of these files. All right, hopefully that's dry and we can move on to another piece. So here is our door. How cute is that? I just love it. I'll hold it up in the front so y'all can see our little, our cute little door. See how you can kind of tell the difference in the, the shades of the blues? Okay, so there is our door. All right, let's go ahead and knock this ladder out of the way because he's easy. And I think I'm going to use um, the cheater method and I'm going to use some brown paint, which is that milk chocolate from Deco Art and a baby wipe over here. You like the stick fast, Linda? Me too. I tried some of the other Gorilla Glues and they're fine, but um, honestly, there's such a little bit of glue in the in the bottles that I bought. I feel like I got my money's worth uh, way more with the stick, the stick fast, even though it is pricey. One bottle will last me a long time. It's got a lot of glue in it and you don't need much at all. And if you guys are looking for the links to any of the, um, like, the stick fast glue, um, what else is on my supply list? I think I've got some paint brushes on there. I've got some different supplies on my website. If you go to lulubeandesigns.com and you click on supply list, um, I've got the link to the stick fast glue over there as well as some other supplies. Okay, so see how easy and quick that was? I just did it, what I called it. Oh, there goes the camera. Hold on y'all, so aggravating. I don't know why it does that. I'm going to have to put a ticket in to StreamYard and figure out why it's doing that. At least I can fix it pretty quickly. There we go. Okay, now it's sideways. Hold on. Got to unclip it and clip it back trying to get it straight okay all right yeah I don't know I'm don't know that it that it won't do it again I hope it doesn't it's only done it one time on each video but I might be on here for a while today so this is um and I might need a little bit more now that I look at it on on the camera grab my baby wipe let me do just a little bit more here but yeah I'm making it have a kind of a, a faux finish staining so to speak and uh without having to deal with stain and the smell of stain and all that. So it's just like a stain look. Here we go. And then I'll probably distress that a little bit too here in a minute when it's dry. Okay, so the next piece I'm gonna do is my little mug here. And we're gonna do the peacock color. No, not the peacock. I'm getting these colors mixed up again. The peacock is the darker one. Let me put the lid on that so I don't forget. We're going to do the lagoon color, the lighter of the two shades of blue on this mug. And I want to do whipped cream on the top, so I'm just going to paint the bottom. And then my little pumpkin. I probably need like one more medium brush over here so I don't have to keep switching colors. Um, oh, okay. I thought I had another comment that I missed. All right, just using that um, that Waverly orange color again, the pumpkin. I should remember that. It's pumpkin. How can I forget that? Because I'm painting pumpkins with it, right? And then a little more of the milk chocolate from the, the deco art. Okay. 
Okay, and we will do some white chalk paint for the whipped cream. Trying to stay on camera here so y'all can see. And then I'm just going to kind of wave it a little bit so it doesn't look quite so perfect. Like the whipped cream is kind of dripping over the side just slightly of the mug. All right. Let's do, while we're letting that dry, before we distress it and do our finishing touches on there, we will skip ahead to our tag. Okay, so for the tag, I'm going to Mod Podge this on here, and I forgot that I would have this little hole. Now, here's the deal. I cut this out with scissors. Um, you can cut it out with your laser. So you could always just cut an extra tag out and cut it out of paper with your laser or a Cricut or a Silhouette or whatever. And, yes, your laser will cut paper. If it'll cut wood, it'll cut paper, okay? So it does not – I can't tell you the settings because every laser is so different – but it barely takes any power at all, and it's very quick because obviously it's such a thin, um, such a thin uh, material that it it doesn't take a whole lot of you know effort on the laser's part. So I'm just sticking a pencil in here, just like that. We'll never know that was there. And I'm going to Mod Podge this on. So I have some matte Mod Podge, big old jar of it. And hopefully somewhere over here I have a foam brush. Yep, I do. Okay, so. I'm going to just put a nice layer of Mod Podge down on this tag. You don't have to do this if you just want to paint the tag. Of course, that is your choice, but I just, I like to throw a little paper into my project sometimes just for a little different, a little interest. I can paint Buffalo check. I've done it before. Now I've never done it on a small piece like this. I usually do it on, um, I'm trying to get a little bit more on here, on a little bit of a larger project, like maybe the circle for a door hanger. I've done like the state of Virginia before, um, cause that's where I live. So I've done like a big, a big state. And I guess I'll set this right here. Cause I'm going to need that again. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put another layer of Mod Podge on top of this. Um, ideally, this would have a little while to dry and not be like expected to have stuff glued on top of it this quickly because we're, you know, obviously we're live. Um, so I might get my hair dryer out and see what I can do with that here in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and let this guy be sitting here drying in front of the fan. Let me turn my fan on. Over here. Prop him up so he can dry. Okay. And since we've done that, let's go ahead and do the other piece that we're mod podging. So I'm going to make sure I don't lose any of these letters because these letters are so little. Put them up here. Okay. 
There we go. Try to keep all these little pieces together. And we're going to Mod Podge this one as well. Get that going so it can dry. Usually if I'm doing this not on camera, I don't put the top layer of Mod Podge on until the layer underneath has dried because I think that prevents bubbles. Um, so if you're having an issue with bubbles, you might want to wait until you put a top coat of Mod Podge on. More. A little bit thicker layer on here. If you guys, um, if you use Mod Podge for your tier trays or for any of your projects, comment and let me know if you have a different technique from the traditional, I feel like this is a traditional way to do Mod Podge. And if you're not familiar with it, you can do other things besides paper. People do paper napkins, um, wrapping paper, Lots of different kinds of paper that you could use if you have, um, if you're somewhere and you get inspired by a pattern that you see, you can, it doesn't have to be cardstock. Alrighty. So let's go back to our mug and our distressing technique here. a little bit on this mug, hitting those edges. All right, keep that dry. And then we are going, oh, let me just dress my, my pumpkin. Ooh, I got a little carried away with that distress. A little too much white paint on there. Let me see if I can take care of that. That's okay. It'll just look like we got a little whipped cream spilled on them, right? A little whipped cream drip down. I'm going to use my, my finger technique here of just dabbing just to put a little orange color back in there. I don't want it too white. And then I think, I think I got that uh, brown a little too white as well. You can see it. There we go. Okay. I'm just just doing all those little things you do when you paint. Okay, so I think we need we need something on this whipped cream to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, I don't know if maybe I'm trying to think if I should do a black or a brown accent in here. I'm thinking brown because it's whipped cream. I might not want to have black. Ooh, this Costco pen does not want to be juicy for me. Oh, thank you, Robin. You're so sweet. I love the mug, too. Okay, I don't know what's up with my brown Posca pen, but it doesn't want to behave today. Um, another. Oh, good. I have another brown. I've got my desk, like, filled, filled up, y'all. I need a bigger room, bigger desk, so I have, like, stuff on the floor all around me. <laughs> okay. Now I got it too juicy. I can't win today. Too much. Too inky. All right. Let's see. Maybe if we just do. This. And maybe like. Oh. 
like that to give it a little a little dimension from a distance. And then we distress on top of that. I think that'll give it the little, uh, the dimension that we want, but I'm gonna let it dry again just for a second before I do the distressing on top of that. All right, where are we gonna head next? So we need to finish our tag. All right, so our tag was blue. So our letters, I'm not gonna glue these down yet, but I do wanna kind of see, um, thinking I need to do I think the letter should be orange but then our tag I don't want to do all orange y'all comment and tell me what colors you think I should do for this uh, for this little tag if I should do all orange for the letters the little uh, banner um, I don't know I think I might have to end up doing all orange. I don't know what would look best against that blue. I don't want too much blue. Let me see. Um, let's try some orange on the little banner. Tell me if you think I need to bring any blue in on the letters. Or if it should all be orange. I think we could get away with like the darker, the darker blue. I don't know. We could always try it and then paint over it if we don't like it, right? Or we could do black, we could bring in some black. I don't know, I kind of think we just need to stick with orange. Is that boring? Here, I'm gonna put it back over there to dry a little bit longer while we're painting the rest of it. It's almost dry though, I can feel it. I could probably be doing this with my orange Posca pen if it's the right shade. So. Um, oh, yay, Leslie, you just joined the clubhouse. Awesome. Do you think darker blue for the letters? I know. I don't know. I've started painting the F already. I don't know if that's the right shade of orange. That might be too dark. Hold on. Let me try this one. I've got two shades of orange here. Yeah, that actually will work, I think. Will that match? Oh, that's like a perfect match. Okay, so if you guys are looking for paint and Posca pens that match, the light orange Posca pen matches the pumpkin Waverly chalk paint. If that helps anyone. Maybe not an exact match. It's a little teeny bit brighter, but I think brighter might look good since we're putting on top of a, um, a blue gingham color. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now then I started wondering if it was gonna show up enough on top of that gingham. I started doubting myself. It's just paint, y'all. Why do I get so worked up over it and worried? Cause I want my, my stuff to look cute. Stand up there, will I? Plus this one is totally going on my table cause I love this tear tray. So this one is going on my dining room table, which I'm hoping I have time later on this week to break out all my fall decorations because I have not done that yet and I'm itching to do it 
because it's my favorite time of year to decorate and I absolutely love it. And I have a ridiculous amount of fall decorations and it would be a shame not to use them. So I'm going to be getting those out this week. I'm going to put a little bit more paint on here just because this is at this light orange, maybe because I'm putting it over top of the other orange, but it is just really popping. I like it. I really, really like it. I think also because the edges, because you know, it's lasered. So the edges are um, dark. I think that looks good. Okay, we need to do something here. I'm not loving what I've done to my mug because I think it needs a little distressing. I've gotten addicted to this distressing. Thank you, Jessica Hammond, for getting me addicted to distressing because she's the one who really, I feel like, introduced me to it. Okay, I think that looks better. Because see, from a distance, you want it to look like you've got a little whipped cream on there, right? Have a little dimension. And should we distress our letters and our little banner? What do y'all think? I feel like if we don't, it's not going to be consistent. It's going to look weird. Let's do that. Yeah, that's cute. I am making a hot mess of my nails today. Whenever I go get my, whoops, my nails done, um, my sweet nail guy, Jake, is like, oh gosh, what have, what have you done? <laughs> he speaks pretty good English, and I try to explain to him what I do for a living. Um, you know, I mean, he understands that I paint, but as far as like the laser stuff goes, I don't really think he understands what I'm talking about. He probably thinks I'm crazy, but I'm like, I'm sorry. I know they're a hot mess and he fixes them. He's good at that. All right. So it's hard to distress little thin letters, but I'm going to try. So yeah, he's from Vietnam and he speaks good English, but I think he's like, what is she talking about laser? You say the word laser to anybody in the beauty industry and they automatically think like hair. <laughs> they don't think wood, they think hair. I'm like, no, I'm not laser and hair. Okay, so, oh, I love that. All right, now. Hopefully our little tag is dry enough. And I've got over here a sanding block. Now, my sanding block, it, it's, it's a little, it's a lot, as my daughter would say, it's a lot. And by that, I mean that it's very, very uh, gritty. And I really wish that I had an old beat up sanding block. And I did have one, but as everything else in my craft room does, it has disappeared as well. And this is a brand new sanding block. So I apologize for the noise, first of all, but I really just need one that's like beat up to do this. So I'm sanding the edges. I'm going from top to bottom. I'm getting my painty hand prints on my tag, which I don't like. And what that does is any edges that are sticking off of there, it gets rid of. When you've when you've got something that's Mod Podge. All right, I think I can cover that smudge up a little bit. Um, so we're gonna put our, our banner on. Yeah, I think that needed the orange. Okay, um, can y'all see that on camera? Fast, more stick fast. I cannot wait to get this tiered tray all decorated on my table. 
I've got a tiered tray that came from Hobby Lobby that is like a, it was last year. It's like a, I'm looking at it right now. It's kind of like a distressed wood color with black metal trim. My friend Joy picked it up for me because she found it at her Hobby Lobby. So she very thoughtfully grabbed one for me. And I think that is the one I'm going to use to decorate and put these little, this little set on. If you want to use your 3M tape for these letters, you certainly can do that. Okay, so we've got that and we're gonna put a cute little tassel, not tassel, but like a little ribbon on it here in just a little bit. So we're getting there guys, we got four pieces done. We got three more pieces and then we've got these little filler items that we're gonna work with here. Um, Okay, so let's do, this is dry. I think this is just about dry. Okay, so it's got some bubbles in it. I don't know if y'all can see the bubbles, unfortunately. It does have some bubbles, but it is what it is. Like I said, don't put your top layer Mod Podge on until your bottom layer is dry. But I was in a hurry because I'm doing a video. Sorry for the noise again, y'all, with my ultra gritty sanding block. And actually, you really can't see those wrinkles too bad from a distance. Nobody comes up and, and closely inspects your stuff. Now, if you're selling it, then yeah, perhaps they do. But if you are decorating for your own house, which is what I am doing right now, um, I think that... You're good. Okay. So we're going to do the darker, and I don't think I have a Posca pen that will work for this color, unfortunately. I do not. So we're going to do, um, I'm thinking if we're going to do peacock, we're not going to do peacock. We're going to do uh, the other one, the lagoon color for these letters. I should probably put them normally when I'm doing this. Maybe y'all can see it better if I do it on here. I tend to pick things up when I paint them though. And then these little tiny letters that are going to be so much fun to paint since I don't have a Posca pen. But that's all right. They'll be cute when they're done. Wow. They're so little. Pasca, if you're watching, please make an aqua color that matches the Waverly Lagoon chalk paint. 
because it's one of my favorite colors. There is a Posca that's like, um, that matches my other favorite color, which is the Deco Art. Um, actually, I actually think I'm gonna know my favorite color by now. What color is that by Deco Art? The um, Sea Breeze. There is one that matches that, but it's too light for this. It's got too much green in it. Hey, Melissa, how are you? We're glad you're here. That's okay. That's what rewind is for, right? Replay. So you could always watch it in the replay later, but it's probably better if y'all are watching in the replay, honestly, because this is a long video and we're not even done yet. Tear trays always take a while though, right? Especially if you're doing all kinds of cute little touches on them. Sweater weather. My favorite time of year is sweater weather. I love a sweater. I'm so looking forward to breaking out my sweaters. Although it has been such a wonderful summer and it's kind of sad to see it come to an end. So then our little um, green flourishes here, we are going to do with that Hauser. Um, my Hauser light green has dried up a little bit more on here. By Deco Art. And that will pick up the green in the wreath. I think it's always nice if you bring um, a color in to something to have it pop in a couple of different places. So if it's in the green wreath, I think it's it helps to have it somewhere else. So having it on these little flourishes will, I think will look nice and be appealing to the eye. The little bit about that I know about color theory and um, art, which is virtually none, virtually nothing, <laughs> being as I've never taken an art class, but I have, I have watched enough decorating videos that I feel like that applies here. You wouldn't know it by looking at my house right now, because <laughs> I haven't broken any um, decorations out in a while because I've been so busy. Okay, so let's put these on here. Um, or actually maybe let them dry, maybe let them dry for a few minutes before we do that. So let's set those over here to dry. All right. So I'm leaving that truck last because I really want to paint that truck blue. I'm going to need to paint that truck blue. I'm not going to be happy unless I do. I'm rhyming today. I don't mean to rhyme, but I'm rhyming today. Apparently, uh, let's do. Let's do our frame. Okay, so we did our ladder with the cheater method. So let me grab that same baby white that I so hastily tossed. Oh, y'all are gonna laugh at what I just did. Never mind. My hands are so painty. I normally wipe them off as I go on a baby wipe, and I have let my hands get so painty today. Are y'all proud of me for letting my hands get so messy for once? <laughs> or is it driving you crazy because you're like me and you don't like messy? It's driving me a little crazy, but I'm trying not to spend like the entire time I'm painting, wiping my hands over and over again. All right. So I'm going to take some of that milk chocolate, that deco art. We're going to paint. We're going to do the cheater again. Since we did it on our ladder, we do it over here on our frame. And I, like I said, got a couple different spots where you had the same color. And I just think that that 
is appealing to the eye. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Not a decorator, not an artist, just a girl who likes to craft. <laughs> Um, yes, Melissa, you spy mini acorns and leaves. You sure do. We're going to get to those in a few minutes. Very exciting. I was not going to let today come without making y'all some acorns and leaves for the little gumball machines. Okay, so we've got our frame and our sweater. Okay. This is one of the pieces that I was at odds about. Y'all know me, I can't make a decision about my paint. Drop myself crazy. Um, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna keep it simple, y'all. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do, where's my big paintbrush? We're gonna do a white uh, background because you don't want things too busy, you know? If it's too busy, then it looks junky. And I hate junk. I hate cluttered and I hate junky. And you wouldn't know that looking at my craft room. Because <laughs> it's cluttered and junky right now. But it's a craft room, so it is what it is. Okay, so white chalk paint. Obviously need more paint. I should just put it straight on the board. Because I'm not going to be happy unless my sweater is blue. There's like a thing on there I can get off. You know, the little pieces of wood. The little tiny pieces of wood that stick on there and get on your nerves and get stuck in your paint. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be happy unless my sweater is aqua and my truck is aqua. Okay, we're going to prop this up in front of the fan. I can get to the fan and move my sanding block. Organized chaos over here, y'all. Get on there. There we go. Okay. Organized chaos for sure. All right. We're going to do a blue sweater with the lagoon color that I am loving Ooh, that I just dumped too much out of that I, I don't know why I keep forgetting that the um, Waverly paint does not squirt out it just pours out I'm so used to the deco art paint and I just turn it over and dump it out I don't know why I keep doing that I'm gonna have to go back and salvage some of that paint Doing a light coat because, not a light coat, but like a, I'm trying to use, get my brush as dry as I can before I dip it back in because I want to be able to see the pattern. In this sweater. And you know, the, the depth of your engraving is gonna depend on your, um, your settings <clears throat> for your, on your laser. So make sure that you're, uh, and I say engraving, it's not engraved. Everything in this file is score. So make sure that you score dark enough that you're still able to see um, all of these lines that you want to see in your finished product. So yes, it is all scoring. All right, that needs to dry as well before we distress it. I've got this one hair 
and I'm probably getting paint in my hair when I try to fix it. It keeps flying because I've got the fan on. It keeps flying in my face. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's going to look cute. I definitely do think that is going to work. Okay. So now we'll do our truck. I love this truck. So cute, y'all. Right, let's do our little pumpkins first. I don't know why I'm not just dipping my brush down in the blue paint like I am with the orange paint. Don't ask me why. Because I could just be doing that. I'm not wasting this paint. Dipping paint brushes, dropping paint brushes. Pumpkins dry and get started on my truck. Okay, well, I do need a bunch of that blue for the truck, so that actually worked out. All right, so I don't need to paint below there. Yeah, below there on that piece. So we really just need to go around like this. I'm going to come back in here with gray for that windshield. And I do this in two separate pieces because I just think it looks really cute to have the dimension and it gives the little pumpkins a place to sit, so to speak. And then I'm going with the darker for this trim piece, which is that peacock color. Where'd my other plate go? Oh, it's over here. There's so many pieces taking up all the room on my desk. that one. Finding places to put everything, y'all. And then the fall, we're going to do um, with a white Posca, I do believe, here. Let's do that. Put this back down here. I'm going to have a white Posca out. How much would you charge for a completed tier tray set? Okay. So that is always the question of the day that everyone asks that I am bad at asking or bad at answering because I do not sell the completed sets. I sell the file. Um, if you go on Etsy, the way that I look at prices, I go on Etsy and I compare. I look at how people have it broken down. There are a lot of people who sell tiered trays I will give you one piece of advice on it. There, the way that Etsy listings are set up, uh, a good way to do it is to 
have one listing where you sell the pieces individually and then you also sell the completed set because what you can do is you can have a drop down box on on etsy where they can choose which piece they're purchasing so if they purchase one piece for twelve dollars or two pieces for twenty dollars or three pieces for 28 you see what i'm saying like the more pieces they purchase the cheaper each piece is and then if they purchase the whole set then they get of course a discounted price on, price on the whole set and that way your drop down boxes are all of those choices and the good thing about that is that if people are searching by uh by price low to high then your listing is going to come up higher up in the in the uh feed because you have some pieces that are only ten dollars you see what i'm saying instead of if you just have the entire listing there and you have it priced at whatever you're going to charge for a tiered tray set seventy five dollars a hundred dollars whatever you're charging um then they're it's going to be like several pages of of items before they get to your listing okay because it's sort of, it goes in order of like the um the cheapest thing you have listed. The lowest price of your listing. So you're going to show up in the $10 section, not the 75 to $100 section. Does that make sense? Oh, that's the bad. That's the bad brown. Go away, bad brown. there distress those um, let's do black on the tires with my black uh, paint pen here so yeah that is the way that I would list that so when they do this, do you, do you know what I'm saying? The sort, when they sort it, your listing comes up higher up. And, and most people do that. You're not being shady at all by doing that. That's just the way that, um, there's a word for it. The algorithm, I guess. The, that's the way the algorithm works on Etsy. Um, okay, I need to do the lights on here. I'm looking down here at my Costco tray. That is why I keep looking down here. All my pens are on the floor. Now I know I've used a gray one before. Let's try this other gray one. There we go. All right, I'm going to see if this shows up or not. Yeah, that'll show up. All right, I'm gonna actually do both of these. I know that the tail lights are not gray. I know they're yellow or red or whatever. Um, I just don't want that color in my tiered tray set. So yeah. <laughs> um, this gray is gonna be too dark for my for my windshield, I believe. I'm going to use this other. I'm running out of like spots to put paint. This is gray sky by Deco Art. And it's lighter than the Posca gray. I'm so sorry, y'all. My hair, just little pieces of hair are tickling my face and it's driving me crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. We're getting there, guys. How long have I been live? Good grief. Hopefully my camera won't cut off again. I'm probably jinxing myself. It'll probably cut off as soon as I say that. My overhead camera. All right. This is where an angled brush is your best friend. Because I feel like with an angled brush, you can whip around a corner. You've got to have enough paint on your brush, though. 
you can push your paint into the edge and whip around the corner with it. See what I'm saying? Like that? I like angled brushes. I know some people prefer straight brushes, but I am an angled brush girl. Now we need a little bit more, where's our white? Another coat of white on these colors. Make some room for stuff. Goodness gracious. I cut this out before I got my new honeycomb bed. I got a new honeycomb bed for my Thunder Laser. And the backs of my pieces are not as charred. And yes, I know you can clean it. Trust me when I tell you it was beyond what cleaning could do. It had had it. It was time. Okay, so now some of these still need to dry. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting thirsty. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Um, Melissa, you said one and a half hours. That's what it feels like. It feels like one and a half hours. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, well, that's the beauty of replay. If you watch it in the replay, right? Okay, we're going to put these pieces on here. But it's a tiered tray set. Um, they just take the longest. They just do. All right. I'm trying to get my glue to come out because I've been leaving the top off here. All right, so we need, hopefully that's lined up. I'm trying to think if that goes like that or like that. No, it, hold on. I can't remember if the S goes like this. It doesn't really matter. It's whatever way you like it to go, I suppose. Whatever you like right? It's art. It's crafts. It's just, oops, it's what you like. And here's the thing, y'all. If you buy a tiered tray set or if you, you know, if you join the club and you get the, this tiered tray set, you don't have to sell the entire thing. You can just sell pieces or you can just pick pieces that you like and that's your set. You're not obligated to sell this entire set if there's one piece that you know is gonna take you way too long to fiddle with and you don't feel like fiddling with it. Like this piece with all these little letters, if you just wanna be like, that's not gonna be part of my set. I'm taking a chance here at getting this off center because I have not put it on here ahead of time. But yeah, you can certainly do that. I'm getting too much glue coming out now. I'm trying to blot some off. All righty. Phew, y'all. Let's see how we're doing here. All right. Got that piece done. Cute, cute, cute. I love it. Uh, how much is the club and what do you get exactly, please? Okay. So you're, uh, first of all, I can't tell you who is asking that because it just says Facebook user. Um, so you have to click that little button that says to give StreamYard permission. 
for me to see who you are, and then I will be able to see your name. But the club is $15 a month, and you get four exclusive files per month, one of which is a tear tray, one is a door hanger, one is a shaker file, and one is something else, like a banner or a shelf sitter or just something different. We've done lots of different things. Um, and you also get 50% off of all my files all the time. So each month you get a coupon code emailed to you with your files, and that coupon code is for that month. Uh, but you can use it as many times that month as you want to. Where? Oh, I've lost my other my other piece. Oh, smearing my gray. That's all right. Let me go back and touch that up. I'm getting sloppy at the end, y'all. Don't let me get sloppy at the end. Okay, so then you also uh, get a virtual paint party every month where I go live and I paint one of the projects for you. And you get marketing photos of all the projects to use. You get access to purchase the previous month's files from when you were a member. Um, you get access to a private Facebook group, a membership portal, lots and lots of things. But the, the biggest things are you get four exclusive files per month and um, that never go for sale in my Etsy shop. And you get the 50% off of all my files. I'm looking for my glue. Here we go. All right, we're going to put this together, y'all. Everything is in the video description also. So if you look at the description of this video, it lists all the things that you get, and it gives you the link to sign up. And today is the only day you can sign up and get this tiered tray file. So if you are in love with this tiered tray file like I am, then sign up today because today is the only day that you will get this file included in your bonuses and you will get all the bonuses this week. So I'm painting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week as well. And you will get all those bonuses as well. And you actually get them today. When you sign up, they're automatically emailed to you. So you get everything today. You get all the September files and you get all four. Woohoo. No, no, no. You get all four bonus files as soon as you sign up, they are sent to you. You can be making this tiered tray in a matter of minutes. I'm never gonna get all this paint off my hands, y'all. Lord, I got a lot of paint on my hands today. My nails are a mess, but I'm going to have a cute tiered tray when I'm done. And that's all that matters. Okay, and then a little, thank you so much for signing up. I wish I could see your name. It won't let me see what your name is. Um, it's a it's a StreamYard thing. You have to click, like, there should be a little pop-up that says allow StreamYard permission, and then I can see who you are. It's just funny. StreamYard's funny like that. Okay, there is our, okay, hold on, wait a minute, we're not done. We need, we're not done. Where's my black? Why can't I keep track of my pens? I got pens everywhere, y'all. We need some accents here. This little line needs to be filled in. And we need, nope, not that one. I can't part with these white pens that are terrible because I keep thinking that I can do something with them because I can hear ink sloshing around inside and I have shaken them up and they still, I don't know, the ink just still doesn't seem to want to do its thing. Um, we might take a brown, where's my brown Posca pen? Where's my good brown Posca pen? Y'all know which one it is? I don't. You do not have to do this. I'm putting some lines on these pumpkins just because I thought it would be cute to put some lines on my pumpkins. And I'm 
I'm doing some dots and squiggles around here. I need a thin black pen. Where's my thin black pen? Here it is. I just felt like I need a little something something. I don't know. Okay. It still needs a little something something. It needs like a, I don't know. I feel like these pumpkins need like a, a pop of something. Yeah, there we go. That will do the trick. They just needed a little, a little pop to be able to be seen, to tell that they were pumpkins. Okay, so there's our truck. And we need to put this together. This is our little sign here, our little sweater, framed sweater. Whenever you're gluing something, y'all, if you do squiggles, did y'all see how I squiggled my glue on this ugly, the back side, the ugly back side of that frame? It, uh, it works better. It's kind of like when you're tiling, if you've ever tiled, you know how you take the caulk and you, you don't put the caulk on like in a straight line, you'd like, you know, it makes it stick better. And then our sweater, which I adore. I'm going to put it at kind of an angle here. Okay, these are, oh, and our sweater, I think, needs a little distressing, just so it kind of matches the other pieces. Okay, all right, so. These are all of our pieces, but we have a couple other things here. I'm gonna close up this Mod Podge. I don't need that anymore. Last thing I need is for that big old jug of Mod Podge to be dumping over on my table. Um, okay, what do we have? What do we have to do? We are going to do, so like I said, we have this adorable gumball machine that I'm going to use on my tiered tray. Um, I don't 100% know if I'm going to keep this ribbon on here or not. I don't know. Because I feel like there needs to be black and white buffalo checks someplace else. Someplace else in this tiered tray for that to really work. I don't know. Um, here's what I'm going to do, though. I've got all these acorns and leaves that are going to go in the tiered tray. I mean, in the gumball machine and I have oh you know what I was gonna do remember what I told y'all I was thinking about painting this should I paint this or is that gonna take forever I don't think it's gonna take that long if I paint it I don't want to paint the white one though I want to paint the black one because the white one I'm gonna need for other other things I just think it would look so cute painted let me put this white one down here what do y'all think should I paint it or is that going to be weird? I'm going to try. This might totally fail. And I'm, I guess I'll use a chip brush for it. This is not, y'all just know, this is an add-on thing that I'm just doing. You don't have to do this. I mean, you don't have to do any of this. But <laughs> I don't know. I just think this would be cute. So I'm painting my little gumball machine. And like I said, um... Next week in SVG Clubhouse, if you remember, I am going live to show y'all how to make a DIY gumball machine. If in case you're sad because you can't find one, because I would be sad if I couldn't find one. Target, come on, y'all need to get with the program and put some more gumball machines in the dollar spot. That's what y'all need to do. See, this is not difficult. We're just painting a gumball machine. Nothing to see here. 
you could tape it off, take it outside, spray paint it if you want to. A million different ways you could do this. But this is just my quick and easy way that I'm going to do it. It's looking cute, y'all. Look. Look how cute that's going to be. That's going to go perfectly with this tear tray. Because I kind of don't want to paint those pieces that go inside. Those little acorns and leaves. I like them how they are on that draft board. And I think that they might be cute, just left like they are. What do y'all think? Because they're not gonna look good if I paint them like a bunch of weird colors that don't go with the tiered tray. You know, like the fall colors. I mean, that would be pretty, but it just wouldn't really go with the tear tray. Okay, so ideally here, y'all, we would paint this, we would let this dry, we would do a second coat, and then we would take a not- so gritty sanding block, an old, crappy, distressed sanding block that has fallen apart, and very lightly sand the parts that stick up to make them pop. Do you know what I mean? Just to make them kind of, to make it look distressed. Um, we've been on here for almost two hours, so we're going to just go ahead and start filling this um, so you can see all these pieces together. I have... A bag of shred so this you can buy I bought this I think on Amazon but you can get shred at the Dollar Tree um, this is like craft colored shred so like a brown craft craft is in like K-R-A-F-T and you also don't have to fill this whole thing up the bottom of this is hollow so you could stick something else down in the bottom which is what I did with the white one I had um, I think I had a glove down in there or a scarf or something. Something that I just pulled out of my closet. But yeah, it is hollow down there in the bottom. So you're going to want to stick something down in there. Okay. So I want to fill it up with shred, but I want some shred stuck in there. All right. So this is what we're, this is what we have so far. We have our gumball machine. Our shreddy shred. I need to angle the camera down so y'all can see. I'll throw these little pieces in here that are sitting around. Okay. And I think if we just put these down in here, that they will look really cute. I'm going to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing, and then I'll show y'all. Probably need a little bit more shred. So you just want to kind of stick the pieces towards the front or whatever side is going to show. Here. Just keep shoving stuff behind it. Sorry, I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. I will show y'all in just a moment what this looks like. But I think it is just so stinking cute. 
Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna throw a bunch of these in here. Okay, so. It's still, it's still too wet to really be handling. But you're gonna wanna put, you're gonna wanna put a bow. I, I wanna put a bow on it. Hold on, let me put this down so y'all can see. Okay, so see what I got here? Turn it so y'all can see it. And then I can't really lift it up too much because um, it's still kinda wet. Hold on, let me, let me do this so y'all can see the front. And it's got all those little filler pieces in there. Sorry, I know there's a glare. Let me try to do it from the top here. It's got all those little cute pieces in there. I love it. But we would want to do a second coat on there and then kind of distress it a little bit and then put a bow on it. And um, I think if I had a, um, I don't think I have any coral ribbon. I had, I had some truck ribbon. I'm going to look for it. I had some fall, like, one-inch ribbon that had, like, fall trucks on it. If I can find that, oh, my gosh, that would be so cute on here. I'm going to look and see if I still have it or not. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to set all this up and take a picture of it. But here's all the pieces, just so y'all can kind of see, laid out. But like I said, I'll, you know, I'll do a picture so you can see all of this. A little mug so cute I love 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 this tear tray set and then of course we have our sweater weather mug that's going to go on the tear tray and then I think that now that I have these this set put together I can kind of see what looks best when I get this set up I might do a combination but I've got these straws and then I've got some black ones as well that I may put in that mug um, but I'm going to get all that set up on the tier tray and take a picture for y'all and post it. So, um, and that will also, if you're in the membership group, that will be one of your marketing photos will be the tier tray set all put together and set up. Okay. Thank you so much for sticking with me for so long, you guys, or for watching in the replay or what have you. Um, just one more time, just to say, if you want this tiered tray set, it is today only. So please sign up today so that you don't miss it. Now I do sell the bonus files later on in the group um, to group members only. So you still have to be in the group to get it. But later on down the road, it will be offered, but you would have to buy like the entire set. I don't sell them individually. So you don't want to just get like the rest of the files this week and then have to pay for the whole set over again. So um, if you want to get them for free, today is the only day to get them all for free. Okay. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll be live again tomorrow, um, probably one o'clock tomorrow, but I'll post it on my page uh, when I know exactly what time. And the project we're gonna be painting tomorrow, let me just show you really quick, is going to be our door tags. These are our pumpkin door tags with the plaid, and that is our bonus project for tomorrow. So we're gonna be painting that live in here so stay tuned for that i'm excited i love those i think they're gonna be so much fun hanging on my door okay guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow bye